2K Sports Annual Noche NBA presentation. We're excited to bring you this celebratory fusion of basketball and Latin culture. Brian Anderson here, joined by our analysts, Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, plus reporting from the sidelines, Ali LaForce. And as the end of the regular season draws closer, let's take a look at the latest power rankings. They've stalled a little bit, looking to get something started and make a move up the ladder. Well, right now for this home ball club, they've really found their identity as a team. Now the starting group for the visitors. And this time of year, Grant, the evolution of strength and conditioning programs really shows its value. Harris with it, providing this team some offensive stability. A little over 10 points a game. Down low. Sinks that one from the post. Making a statement here early, going right to the rack. Oh, I love it. And this is why you get the ball into his hands. Let him establish the pace and rhythm of the game. Shoots from the line. He hits the back iron and sinks it. And you got to defend better than that. I mean, that's a good look for him. That's not coming with the right mentality. The defender neither closes the space nor challenges the shot. That's frustrating as a coach, really. Here's Mac. Pass to Monroe. Here's the three. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Harris outside. From outside the arc. Drills it from deep. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Six on the shot clock. From deep three-point range. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Harris on the wing. And the first quarter of action, 2 minutes in. From 12 feet, Jackson gets the bucket. I'll say sometimes it's easier to hit the target with a bounce pass. That's perfectly done. Up a three. Gets the three ball to go. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Gone three of three out of the gate. Pass to Mac. Right wing. Harris outside. Driving in. Counted. Harris. Harris has got his second basket on the night. Now you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. No coverage that time. These teams have really gone back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Five lead changes already. This one's going to be a battle for sure. To the left wing. Drops it in from the low post. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. There's the three. Sinks it from distance. Give him eight. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. Pass to Mac. Two points. That one goes. They have no answer defensively inside. Gone five of six. They're rolling. Oh 
There's the triple. Buries it from three. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. Harris outside to the inside. Fades and shoots. And the shot's good. I mean, just hitting all their shots early. What an offensive game plan. It must be the coaching. Four three. Drops in the three. All five of the last buckets they've given up have been from downtown. Gone a perfect seven for seven. Jackson on the wing. Here's Mack. Harris on the wing. Jackson, pass to Harris. And he gets it to go. Harris has got his third basket of the night. That's a move you won't see many guys make. Impressive stuff. Harris has got all three of his shots to fall. Three for three. Baseline try. Connects. Number the jumper 20. drops. Both teams are hot. Woo! This is a fun one to watch. Well, you love it when you can get off to a fast start offensively. You hate it, though, when your opponent does the same. Gotten all eight shots to go. They are red hot. A minute 35 left in the first quarter. Pass to Mack. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. 124 left in the first quarter. Three pointer. Again, gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. A minute nine left in the first quarter of the game. There's the drive. Sinks another one. He's on a roll, starting four for four. These defenders really need to man up, particularly in the lane. Fires for three. Counted from distance. Six points for him. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Jackson outside. 36 seconds left in the first. And he's going for the lob! And Harris throws it down. The pass, the catch, the slam. What a clean play. Man, absolutely jaw-dropping. Only three seconds left in the first quarter. Down to five on the shot clock. For three. The rebound by Jackson. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Number 48. First personal foul, first team foul. Shooting for the home team, Gibbons! One plus the penalty, two shots. Two. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return.
Clock at six. From deep. Rebounded by Mack. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Pass to Monroe. Let's a three fly. Pure from three point range. Three point. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Quarter number two and about a minute in. Harris is screen. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And in the league today, we've got some all-time greats playing out on the wing. But who do you think the best wing in the NBA is right now, Grant? Oh, boy, oh, boy. You're trying to get me in trouble. That's a tough one. I mean, you have LeBron, you have Giannis, you have Kawhi, KD. All of them are elite. All of them are champions. So if I had to choose, uh, I guess I'll go with... I don't know. They're just all great. And he drops the first. And he makes both free throws. Productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. Lamont Jackson. First personal foul. First team foul. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Shot clock at six. Oh, stolen by Harris. You know, anticipation is a huge part of defense, and he played it perfectly right there. And they pick up two. 13 points in the game. This play is a big reason why they're ahead. He hasn't missed a shot all night. It's a close game here in L.A. Last year, these two gave us a very entertaining season series, splitting the games. It's a fairly even matchup, and both sides want to take that lead into the league's upper echelon. So let's see what signs we see of progress tonight. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Now here's Jackson. With some arc. And the layup is up and in. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Launches a three. And the three-pointer goes. Put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Boy, the tide is running one way and then shifts back in the other direction. I've lost count of how many lead changes we've had here tonight. Off target from outside. Gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. Quarter number two and around three minutes gone by. From behind the arc. And it falls for him. He's hit three of his first four attempts. He came up dry offensively in the first, but looks like he's ready to turn it around. Pass to Mack. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. Harris has got four assists in the game. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. And I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out.
gone a terrific four of five here in the second quarter. Pass to Mack. Jackson on the wing. Back to Harris. Here's Jackson. Harris on the wing. Just five to shoot. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Hold on. He hears the whistle, and he keeps his concentration and is able to knock it down. Gotten five of their first six attempts to fall in the second. From down in the low post, it goes. 12 points for him. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Inside, here's Mack. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Gotten six of their seven shots to go in the second quarter. Three-pointer. Hey, he's now six for six. He is cooking right now. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Harris outside. To the middle. Fader on the way. Oh, he remains perfect. Seven for seven, showing no signs of letting up. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Pass to Monroe. Four on the clock. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Two. He's been playing great unselfish basketball. Really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. And he has shown a terrific feel for how the defense is playing him and then taking advantage of that. A minute 31 left in the second quarter. Here's Jackson, and that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Boy, he's been unconscious this quarter. I love the confidence he's playing with. Gone eight for nine here in the second. Harris outside. Pass to Mack. Shoot from the baseline. He missed there. His first misfire in five tries. Let's go with a three. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. And now he's dropped two three-pointers in each quarter. There's Jackson with the three. Monroe grabs the miss. Well, you're trying to answer the three, but you force up a shot that he would have been better off passing up. And it's good. Two points. Adds to their lead. They've been able to rely on him all night. 27 seconds left in the half. Harris outside. Over to the left wing. Here's Mack. That falls. Nice setup by Harris. Harris. Ten points for him. Here he goes. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts. Impressive. I mean, challenging at the rim against length. You just have to love the aggressiveness. You have That's got to believe that you can score, score against size on the interior. Team. How about the aggressive assertive move team. there? And we finished off one half a play. Leading by nine. Ball movement was a real factor for them on offense. They played unselfishly with patience. The guys got shots in their favorite spots. When you get those high percentage looks, good things tend to happen. 
All right, let's go over the first half now and highlight the opposing forces who stood out. It's like a supernova colliding. I mean, fans love these star matchups. Always the potential for a huge play. They draw so much attention, it frees up the rest of the team. Oh, and the momentum can change in a heartbeat with these guys on the floor. Here's the three. Nails him from three. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. So it's the home team now. A 12-point game. Harris outside. Falls back and drains a fadeaway Jane. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense, not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. And to me, he's just playing smart, efficient basketball, really helping his team hang around this one. Out left to the wing. Fires it from 18. And no good. Here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Here's Mack. And that one is ever home. B.A., forget about attempting the long-range three to cut into that lead. Just attack the rim, my man. Man, that was sweet. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Last <laughs> Monroe. make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. From eight feet away, hits the trifecta. He's got ten. Kick to the outside, heads up play. Cognizant of the entire floor. Second personal foul, first team foul. And we're just about two minutes into the final half of play now. Six to shoot. Pass to Monroe from deep three-point range. He can't get it to go on three of three in the second half. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed. Yeah, I'm sure coach couldn't be happier with the results. Puts it up from 12, and he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. 19 points in the game. They've been aggressive during this run, but they've also played under... Oh, oh wow! Wow, that type of finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch. That's certainly a big-time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point, or maybe even a question mark. Now here's Harris. 12 points for him. Pass to Mack. Knocked away. To the paint. And the lamp is good off the glass. And despite the size mismatch, getting a little aggressive down there in the paint. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. Now here's Jackson. Here's Mack. Yes, and a nice assist from Jackson. Jackson. Jackson's got three assists tonight. Since the break, it feels like an entirely new game. What energy we're seeing. Something has lit a fire under both of these teams. There's a screen. Sends it home from three-point land. 17 points in the game. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Now here's Jackson. Here's Mack. 
And that one comes up a bit short. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Drives to the hoop. And he dunks it down. Whoa! Slamming it home on the taller defender. <laughs> Wet swag. Got five of six shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to Jackson. The three. That shot is off. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. Here's Monroe. Let's it go from deep. And that's number basket seven. number nine for him. He's nine for ten. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. They're doing what they can do to mount a comeback. And B.A., they don't have to get it all back at once. Just focus on making every possession count. Jackson outside. Inside. Here's Mack. To halt the run. And that one is stopped right through. Strong performance from him. But he may need to do even more if they're going to win this game. Gone six for nine in the half. In the third. Two minutes. One fifty-six left to play in the third quarter here. Jacks up a three. That is now his seventh field goal in ten attempts. Impressive. They've had a hard time shutting down the three-point shot. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Where was the defense? No fighting through the pick. No rotation. My goodness. And that one drops for him. He's got 22. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Now here's Harris. 12 points for him. Pass to Jackson. Fires the three. It doesn't go for him. Got an 8 of 11 shots to go in. Efficient so far in the third. Tries a 10-footer. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Gone 7 of 10 here in the second half. Now Harris. Pass to Jackson. That falls. Nice setup by Harris. Harris has got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Jackson's gone three of six from the floor. Thirty-two seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Just five on the clock. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Now here's Harris. Goes again. His sixth basket in seven tries. <laughs> you know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from inside. And, yep, Number it's one. good. He is torching a defense that simply has no answers for him. From downtown, knocks down the long chain. Well, he's been shooting it so well because he's been so active, moving and working That's to get high game. percentage shots. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the fourth quarter. Up nine. And time to step away quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. Greg Popovich asking for intelligent aggression. This is where his type of team tends to shine. It's a higher level of play. Every team in the league strives for it. Only a few actually make it happen. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. And there's a three-second violation. Shooting a legendary 79%. Their offense is just on a tear.
Over to the wing. Knocks down the triple. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. And it is a major disadvantage down the stretch if you can't guard. This may just come down to who has the ball last. To the middle. Bucket. He's now 9 for 11 after that one. And trying to put the game away, he's been nails all evening. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Now here's Harris. Jackson outside. About one minute played here in the fourth quarter. Clock at six. From the wing. Kept alive. At the line for your home team, LeVon Jackson. At the line for two. First one falls for him. And so Jackson nails both of them. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. From deep. Oh, that was pure. He's got another one. Now 10 for 12. He got loose from downtown in the first half. Now has three here in the second. Unstoppable. Shot from 12. And the basket by Max. Yes, yes. Yeah. When you make your mid-range shots, you force your opponents to adjust. You know what truth is, though, he's tall enough to get that off against anyone. Pass to Monroe. Oh, team foul. He drops it from range. Personal foul. He's got First 25. That's his fifth triple Michael, of the night. Two seven. in the first half, three, three in this one. Huge production. Shooting for the away team. Number 11. One plus the penalty. Two shots. Gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Pass to Mack. Harris outside. Five on the clock. He gets it. He's seven for eight and really going at him out there. Reliable approach. Getting the ball in the paint and going to work. Gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. The three is up. On Number target seven. from range. He hit a couple from range in the first half, but now his confidence is through the roof. Pass to Mac. Harris outside. Up top, Jackson. The three is up. Shot misses. Got all four shots to go in this final quarter. Here's Monroe. And there's the drive. Good on the baseline, Jay. And he couldn't get an easier shot. The defense right now just looks defeated. Well, simply stated, simply not enough effort, not enough attention to detail. They've got run over this evening. Now here's Harris. Oh, he couldn't stay in bounds, and that's going to be a turnover. Gotten off to a perfect five for five so far in the fourth. Goes 
goes up high for the two-handed slam. He challenges the defender and throws it down with two hands. Man, just straight power on that would clear the deck. Pass to Mack. Jackson outside. Lays it up and banks it in. He picks the exact right moment to get himself a clear line to the basket. Gotten all six shots to fall in the fourth quarter. Seven feet away. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Down low. Here's Harris. Score that basket. His eighth out of nine shots here today. He's shooting well, doing his best to keep this offense in gear, but he hasn't had a lot of support. They double him with Harris to the inside. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. That's 29 for him. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Pass to Jackson. With the fadeaway. No, four for nine from the floor down. You'd like to see more effective ball movement there. Well, there's no doubt there were better options on the floor, but it certainly seemed like he had his mind made up. Shooting a sensational 78% for the field in this game. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Now here's Harris. Tight defense on him. It's good. Harris has got 20. I'll tell you, allow him to get to his spot. Well, it didn't start out with him being in this crowd's crosshairs, but as the game went along, he kept pouring it on him. It's safe to say they don't want to see this guy anywhere near their arena for a long, long time. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. 141 left in the fourth quarter. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. You can see why they go to this guy so often. More often than not, he's going to be very efficient like he is right here. Here's Harris. And his next assist would give him a double-double on the night. He's shown tremendous vision and tremendous heart out there. From 13, Monroe grabs the miss. Got an 8 of 10 attempts in. Very productive here in the fourth. A minute nine left in the final quarter. From the arc, hits a three-pointer. When you see the score and how much time is left, you realize this game is just about over. Well, you have to appreciate the hard work that went into the building this lead. They have been terrific all night. Now here's Harris. Jackson outside. That's good. And now he's 5 for 11 in this one. Fifty-four seconds left to play in the fourth. Pass to Monroe. Takes a three. Fires in the triple. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then some. Harris outside. To the left side wing. Here's Mac. And there's the slam. Goes to finish it off. Come on, B.A. He sure can rise. Grant, that's as good as it gets. One of the best in the league. 29 seconds left in the fourth.
Shot clock at five. Releases. Oh, great D on that shot, and it's off the mark. And so it's a victory for the road team That's in this one. The game. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked Thanks by the way their team was dismantled. Team. A sure shock and surprise. And it doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. And that'll do it, folks. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you later.